Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to show you how to simulate a dynamic circuit to control three-phase motors by using contactors, relays, and switches. The software is Cade Simu which is easy and friendly. Because the motors are 600 volt and three-phase ones, we need a three-phase power supply. Let click onto this symbol. We are gonna see different types of power supplies such as line, neutral, protective electric wire, three-phase lines, etc. Now click to choose a three-phase power supply. Click to choose one three-phase breaker. Choose two new relays which are used to change motor's rotation. Now, get a thermal relay. This thermal relay will protect the motors when there is overcurrent running through the system. Supposing that there is overcurrent in the system. After a certain time, the internal heat will trigger the protection mechanism in the relay. The relay will be turned off quickly, so there is no more voltage applying on the motors. Go to find buttons for on and off ones. Running three phase wires. Click to choose the three vertical lines from the upper tab. Get the output symbols to make our circuit look neat. It means that we don't need to run wire too much on the sketch. Avoid make it look tangled and confused. Now run wires for the second relay which is used to change the motor's rotation. Notice that the second phase of the power supply is connected to the third electrode of the relay and the third phase is connected to the second electrode. Take a line and neutral power supply for the on-off control circuit. Take two coils for K1 and K2 contactors. When these two coils are energized then K1 and K2 are turned on. Now get a normally close and normally open switch for rotation control. Connect the subcontactor to the on switch to maintain open state when the on button is pressed and released after that.
As we have two relays here, we also need to connect the second subcontactor to the on button too. Now press the green triangle button to check the circuit. Okay, so far so good. Connect the second relay with the three-phase power supply. Simulate the circuit again to make sure everything is okay. When the on button is pressed, K1 or K2 coil is energized. Thus K1 or K2 contactor will be turned on after that. We can see the subcontactors of these two relays are parallel to the on button. So these subcontactors can help to maintain the on state of the circuit even we release the on button. To turn the circuit off, the off button must be pressed. Or we can turn the main breaker off. Six contactors which are named from K1 to K6 to control the six motors here.
we use six switches named K1, K2, K3, K4, K5, and K6 to control the six motors. And also crucial to name the coils from K1 to K6 to control the contactors. Now let's run the simulation circuit again. Turn the circuit on. Light indicator is green. The circuit has been being energized. Change the rotation of the motors by clicking on the switch. The second relay has been energized now. Click off button to turn the circuit off. Let's click on again. Turn on the main breaker. Turn the first switch on, then the first motor is gonna work too. When we turn the rest 5 switches on, then all motors are gonna work now. Turn the main breaker off, the all motor are gonna stop working. If clicking on the NONC switch here, then the motor's rotation is gonna be changed as well. As you can see that the dynamic circuit has been simulated and it can work properly, the rayol circuit is gonna okay too. Thank you for your watching. Please like and subscribe if you like it.